Hello and welcome to Bailey's. This week we're taking a look at the Pulsar C50. This is a day and night vision scope, so colour in the daytime and colour right up to last light, courtesy of the aperture system on the front, and then standard night vision, uh, courtesy of our IR source uh, for the uh, night time. You can buy this in two variants, standalone scope, and you provide your own IR, which is about 1,050 quid, or for 1,200, 1,250, you can get the scope with its own 940 IR, which is a low visibility IR, as in your quarry can't see the glow. Uh, exceptional looking scope, you've got your standard design, 30mm tube, uh, the effects of the turret system on here, you've got your battery inside here, um, you've got your menu wheel and everything on the side, I'll go into that shortly. Um, inside this scope you have got a 1928 by 1088 sensor, that's doing all the work, CMOS sensor, uh, that's what's creating a great image. At the back here what you're looking through is a 1024 by 768 AMOLED display which is nice and crisp and colour rich. Uh, base mag on this unit is 3.5, max mag is times 14. Uh, two ways of doing your magnification, you can either press the mag button and it steps from 3.5 to 7 to 14 or you can press it, turn the wheel on the side and do a very gradual uh, drift through the mag range on there. Press and hold that button and it brings up the picture in picture so when you go to change the mag you'll actually be changing the mag in the picture in picture which will maintain your nice field of view across your normal image of the scope. Um, on this as well you can have up to five profiles so if you're running this on a mono mount or a tier one mount system and you want to be able to move it between different rifles from centre fire to rim fire to air gun uh, you can do that and you can save the profiles so you haven't got to do all that work again of re-zeroing the scope in general. Um, so far, as you can see, I've got this mounted quite low. I've got this on some tier one triple screw uh, mounts. It's sitting very low into my chassis here. Uh, running a PBIRL on the top and a PBIRM, the two that I've tested with this unit, I have received no glare off the front of my rifle uh, with this moderator and this end. Uh, which is an absolute winner. One of the old problems with the earlier Digex was you used to get whited out uh, quite badly um, with your IR. So that's also absolutely bang on. Uh, you've got your focus wheel here at the front. You've got an aperture control, which I'll show you a picture of up in the top of the screen here. You've got aperture control. You've got a very nice sprung locked uh, cover on the front to protect the lens, which is all good. You can change where you want that to open up to, depending on where you've got what mounted. On here, you've got your USB Type-C charging port underneath this cap. You've got your spare battery underneath this cap, which is there. So you can change these batteries out um, to save using the main battery on board. And on this side of the scope, which I'll show you a picture of in a second, you've got your menu control button. One press for quick menu options, press and hold for the full menu, Wi-Fi, etc., and all your settings uh, in that respect. Moving to the back here, you've obviously got your ocular focus on the very back to make it suit your eye so you can get a nice crisp image of the reticle. And on the top, you've got your menu controls here as well. You've got the record button, so obviously taking pictures or recording videos with the 16 gigabyte built-in storage on this. You've got the power button, which is the power button, the standby button, and also uh, quick press turns that from day to night as well. So quite a multiple, uh, options on that one button there and then obviously you've got your magnification button uh, just there as well so overall absolutely banging little scope so this is what you can see through the scope as you can see at the top there you've got the picture in picture uh, the reticle is nice and fine you've got all the information at the bottom of the scope there to tell you what zero you're on uh, what mode you're in your magnification where the wi-fi is on where the auto off is turned on or off for time and both battery statuses so number one is your main battery and number two is your battery that's inserted in the top one quick press of the menu system and as you can see you can change your contrast use your stadiatric rangefinder and your brightness it's all on there press and hold the menu button and your full menu comes up. So your first option there is your reticle and zero in. Press on there, you've got your zero in profile. 
you've got your reticle choice and I mean there is a lot of reticles to choose from you can have absolutely all sorts I like M M58i because it's like a mill dot reticle uh, you can also change the colour of that reticle and uh, you can have white with red, white with green red, green, so on and so forth all the way through uh, and pick exactly what colour you want you can also click on here and you've got your reticle brightness so obviously my reticle is on maximum brightness and you can turn it down depending on the environment you're in and then you've got your zero in and add new distances so press and hold to come off that scrolling down you've got your S mode which is your sunlight mode uh, which you can turn on with no IR <coughs> when you're in black and white mode you've got your icon brightness which is the brightness of the display Wi-Fi activation turning on the Wi-Fi your information for the Wi-Fi is in your passcode etc you can change it to suit you whether or not your microphone is on general settings such as your time etc accelerometer to let you know whether or not your rifle is counting left and right and then the general device information so it's all there for you all nice and simple to use Good hit. The sun is right in my eyes let me just see there we go rifle's clear stop the recording now there we go job is a good one so that should be able to show you what I can see even with the sun blinding the crap out of this morning we've got a couple of reds down there I've got a PBIR on full spread uh, this is on four point uh, three point five magnification sorry so what we'll do we'll zoom in this is still on full spread times 9 times 11 14 and then I can tighten up the beam on my PBIR now on times 14 that detail and they are at roughly 300 yards walking across the field two staggies so from the footage I've put on um, there's no fox shooting or anything like that it's purely been so you can see what you can see in the daytime and what you can see at night. Um, we obviously stock and sell Pulsar products at baileyshoot.co.uk uh, but obviously you can go to Thomas Jackson's website and you can find your nearest dealer um, or get in touch with us we can get units posted out when they're back in stock. Um, personally uh, if you already run night vision you've already got your own IRs I would go for the non-IR version and run your own IR on this for those that are getting into it and it's their first MV scope then you know it, it's up to you you can go for the IR version if you want and at least it's all in one package but yeah absolutely banging little scope capable of, capable of daytime shoot, shooting um, very capable at night very clear uh, not too IR fussy which is always a winner with everything I've tried it with it's, it's done the job out to the distances you need for varminting or foxing so I hope this video was uh, informative for you thank you very much for watching and please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel cheers